to make your hair submissive. Let no strand of hair disrespect you by standing up. Make them weak in the knees. Edge the frontal. This is now the important step because this is where you people lose self-control. This step will determine whether you're going to have a frontal or turn it into, into, into a closure. <laughs> Wanna blow up in the limelight Think about what my life would then be like Go to LA, I'm back on the one night Trying to catch a flight, I'm just working for that jet life Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel It's your favorite bonnet bandit So me, if this is your first time seeing this face Hi, my name is Chisom with a period Chisom, period And if you're a returning subscriber Hey girl, you know how we do You know whenever I pop up on your screen You're about to have a good day Gotta have a, gotta have a good day Today, I'm going to bring you something different I don't think I've done a tutorial in a while Like when I did the tutorial, I was a long time ago but today <laughs> prepare to be sick of me Ooh, hoo, hoo. prepare to be sick of me because today i am going to do a tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to lay your front out very easy very simple just straight to the point this video is sponsored by hair vivi sent me a 22 inches brown highlight wig it gave me this velvet ish pink package box for some reason, this is how it came in thought. I'm sure it's from FedEx. It's from the shipping company. And But this box, I was so mad because this box is actually real nice and has good quality. I wanted to keep it. The packaging is 100 over 100. And it came in, it has two, inside it you have two silk bags. One contains, the big one contains the wig. While the small one contains, you know, the things that come with the wig, the gifts inside the box. There's a rat tail comb, there's this small comb for laying your edges. If it comes in handy, they have tweezers, even though you don't need it for this hair. Then they have hair clips that always comes in handy. Now for the start of this show, you guys, I'm amazed, still in shock with the quality of this hair. Like this is the best hair I've received, I'm not even lying, the best hair I have received not one of the best the best look at the hairline it comes pre-plucked pre-bleached and it has um, its own fake scalp so you don't even need to wear a wig cap while wearing it and it has its own adjustable elastic band you can adjust it to how however tight you want it to be this is luxury at your doorstep i'm not even lying like i'm still amazed i'm still amazed i'm amazed transparent lace i know you can't see the lace on the mannequin there is no lace what lace you see this thing fake scarf like some of you hold and i know you are seeing what i'm seeing come on now don't play with me you want to see how i went from this to this yeah keep watching it will be straightforward no bald cap method, no gorimapa cap, no um, shinkocha cap method, just straight forward. The first thing I do is to push down all my hair to make sure no hair is standing up. You can use a gel to do this or even um, got to be glue to do this, but I just use an eco styler because I'm not putting, I don't, I don't want to put a lot of harsh things on my hair because of the fact that my hair is going through right now. You push it, get everything out of the way, let it lay down. Make your hair submissive. See, let them lie down flat. Let no strand of hair disrespect you by standing up. Make them weak in the knees. Now that they are, you know, all submissive, it's time for you to dominate and put them in place by putting your wig cap on like this. You push them all the, you push them inside like this. Now that that's out of the way, you're going to go ahead and put on your wig. Yes, I know, I know, right? We are going right into it, right? Just put on your wig. Mm. 
This is straight out of the box. I've, I've not done anything to that. I've not applied not one thing. What? Show them. HD. HD fronter. Okay, show them the fronter. See, HD fronter. HD. If I put this wig in my hair, it's over. If I put this wig in my hair, it's over. Now, the next thing you're going to do, which is very crucial, number one, is to get your hair out of the way because you're about to start working. You're like, work, 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 work. Now, after that, you have to size your wig and decide where you want it to go to. You know, give it direction. Give it direction because it lasts direction in life. You have to size it, push it where you want it to, to go to. Me, I want it to go this way. Like, I want it to cover my side bones. And that is what it's doing exactly. So you're just sizing it. You've not started laying it. Okay? Calm down. Pipe down! Oh, pipe down, bitch! Pipe <laughs> down! <laughs> this is now the important step because this is where you people lose self-control. This step will determine whether you're going to have a frontal or turn it into, into, into a closure. When you're cutting the lace, people cut it like this. And when you cut it like this, you don't have a frontal. Now, this wig is already my perfect size, but as you can see, if I tuck this thing behind my ear, ear you have this thing here. You have this bulkiness. Oh, now this wig. Child. You have this bulkiness here, and we don't need that in our lives. No, we want everything to lay flat. We don't need complications. Now, I'm going to show you how to cut your ear tab before you even cut the lace. You cut around your ear like this. This is the most important. If you, if you know how to do this thing, it, and it's not difficult, just follow your ear. Don't cut your ear, oh. Just this way. You see? You see? Just around your ear. Around. And that's it, though. See the small thing that came out? No more complication. I can just tuck it behind my ear and to lay flat. See? Now compare this side. Now it's not remaining for me to lay the laser. It's nothing. Compare this side to this side. See? Now you know what I'm what I mean. If you can get this part, because I know you can. I believe in you. I believe you can do it. I believe you can fly. Let me show you again. Because I love you. No, I really love you. Now, you're ready to walk. I have one thing to tell you. You better walk, bitch. For some of you who just cut it like this and you wonder why your frontal is not frontal. It makes no sense. It's getting on my nerves. Every single day you wonder why your eyes don't that. You wonder why? It makes no sense. It's getting on my nerves. Every single week you wonder why your ass don't dance. You wonder why? After cutting off the ear parts, next thing I'm going to do is to cut off, not cut off the lace, but divide the lace. Because this, will, when you divide the lace, you, this will help you when you finally pull down your lace to lay it. Let me show you what I mean by divide the lace. Into three parts, that's what I like to do. Now don't go too far down. Too far in, I mean. Now this is what I mean. So you can lay it one by one. What do I use in laying my front hair? Just this. Get the hair out of the way. And you start. This is a got to be glue freeze. Blasting free spray. Put the first layer. Now you're going to wait for this first part, this first uh, layer to dry completely. 
you can use a blow dryer to make it faster so this is a disclaimer i'm not a professional i'm neither a professional or a hairstylist or claim to be an expert i'm just showing you what works for me me now that it's completely dry i'm going to put another layer i put only put two layers so this Second layer, you're going to wait for it to get tacky. You know, tacky. You know when they say your dress is tacky, you're going to wait for this to get tacky. All right, so all sticky, we're going to try to lay it. I'm going to talk here. Because I need maximum concentration. This is why I cut it so I can lay it batch by batch. This is batch one. Bring it on leg. All I do is just use my comb to press it in. That's all. Batch two. The same thing. Use my comb to press it in. Period. You can't even see the lace, but the lace is there. Nah, this company, you have charmed me. You've charmed me. Yeah? You've got the job. That's it. That's it. Your hair has laid though. Like joke like joke, your hair has laid. Now that it's stuck to your hair, somewhat stuck to your hair, the next step is to cut. You see how I'm cutting? Let me come closer. Zig, zag, zig, zag. See? Don't cut it straight up because you don't want it to look like helmet of salvation. You are seeing a bonnet, I'm seeing the helmet of salvation. You see a bonnet, I see the helmet of salvation. Now, another one, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. You know how I said you have basically laid your wig? I like. I don't know what to tell you. I like, I don't know what to say. That's your fault. They said, don't believe everything you see on the internet or you hear on the internet and you believe me. You have now basically laid your wig. Yeah, basically, you've laid your wig, but not everything. Because when you lift, you go take an extra mile. When you lift your hand, when you lift it up like this, you see that some are still standing. You know, the lace, you see it. All you have to do is to take this. Spray this on this and just, you know, make it enter. That's all. What to do is to just press it down. Let me come closer because this lace is invisible. So I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to bring out my baby head. Now, this is another part. We struggle with, and there's a just a lot recently. There's been a lot of controversy towards edges and baby hairs. People say now a lot of people are springing up saying it looks tacky, it looks cheap, cheap and classless. Well, <laughs> oh, come we bend down, select because that's how I want to look. That's exactly how I want to look fake and plastic. But that's exactly how I want to look plastic and fake. Now that we are done bringing out the baby hairs, I'm going to we are going to do some clean up, clean up all the white cast. So what I do is that I take a wet wipe and I start cleaning up. The next thing after that is to get an elastic band. And further melt it just to and use it to cover your hairline for a while. Me, I used to cover my hairline for like I don't know, I don't count. Whenever I'm tired, I will remove it. I'm going to leave it on the whole time I'm doing my makeup, then I'll come back. So I'm going to do my makeup off camera because this today is not about the makeup, then I'll come back and you know, continue. Ah, I'm back. I'm done with my makeup. Anyway, I use this wax stick. I got it from Amazon, but you can literally use any wax, any even the one in this thing. I, 
even the one in a can, you can use it and use a brush. Or uh, if you don't have wax stick, you can basically just use this thing. So I use this wax stick and a hot comb. Honestly, this hot comb is very, very important. It's like really important. It can change your wig game. I got mine from Amazon. Did I? I can't remember. But I think I got it from Amazon. I used to have one in Nigeria. It was my friend. My friend used to sell it, so I bought from her. I can leave her. If you're in Nigeria, I can leave her link in the description box. Just let me know. Um, I'll just leave it where I live. You let me know. I'm going to use it just to. Oh, let me bring out this thing. It's messing up. I'm trying to put the hair in place so I'm, I'm going to leave it in the center part so one thing about laying your wig is when you want to leave it there you don't just lay it flat like this no there has to be something and is this one stick or this hair styling mousse 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 whatever I'm saying that can help you that help you do it and this um, coiling iron I say coiling iron this hot comb which is why it's very important. This this hair already comes, you know, cord. You can just run your hand through it and you go, as you can see. But I want a different type of curl, so I'm just going to coil it quickly and I'll come back. Just look at how how silky, silky. This hair you bust in my brain, oh. Now who get this fine hair heavy? Then I drop it. You see, I'm, I don't drop them. And that's it. I'm just going to leave it this way and I'll remove my elastic right now. Now, for the very controversial baby hair, I'm going to do my baby hair right now. The last and final step that I do with my wig is to. Ooh! Did you see the bounce? Mmm! Bounce that ass, girl! Bounce that ass, girl! Ooh! This is nice! Mmm! Prepare to be sick, me! So I also want, I want the, uh, the paws bigger and fluffy, so this is what I will do. Oh! Prepare to be sick of me! Prepare right now to be sick of me! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Prepare to be sick of me! Prepare right now to be sick of me! So for some reason I forgot to record an outro. I actually started then I just got carried away looking at the hair and all of a sudden I forgot to say to record the outro. So this is the final look. One thing I would say I would not recommend doing baby hairs on this hair. I would not just looking back at it now. No, I wouldn't recommend it because I think the beauty of this unit is without it's just the the customized hairline like you don't need to do baby hair although the baby hair looks cool but i feel personally feel it looks better without baby hair so skip that if you buy this hair on any hd list do you understand but it looks cute it looks cute so this is the final look i know it's giving is giving very much what it's supposed to give another thing i also recommend is when you are doing makeup with this type of hd lace don't put makeup on your forehead at all don't put makeup because there will be a sharp contrast between your makeup and this thing because you not apply makeup on the particular place you 
laid the lace and you know it's transparent so it's going to be showing another color but yeah that's the end of this video i hope you liked it please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye love you